Hey, what it do, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Q. And um, I think we've got to have... I think we got to have a very fair and honest conversation. I saw this tweet today from True Talent. And I've seen this conversation. I've seen this thought. I've seen this topic of discussion come up a couple of times within the DVD community, especially among your, some of your like bigger content creators, right? And if you've been through our streams over on Twitch, especially here recently, uh, it's even something that we've been talking about, uh, which by the way, we do stream quite a bit over on Twitch. Link's going to be down in the description below. And I'm going to try and keep this video like as short as possible because one, I don't want to talk too much down the side of my mouth because one, it's obviously just my opinion, but I do think we've got to talk a little bit about the conversation as far as what True Talent talks about in his tweet here. So um, what he says as far as in the tweet itself, at Dead by Daylight, when are you adding a streamer mode for streamers? Wouldn't that be what streamer? You know what? Actually, I'm not even getting that. Uh, <laughs> some of us are sniped consistently and it really makes the game a very unfun experience. All you need to do is hide the names in lobby and change the people who join into random skins and characters the streamer owns. Okay, so I think we're on to a very, very good start here um, with the whole thought from True Talent as far as the, the streamer mode. Because I ask you this, and maybe someone who's watching this video might be able to give me an answer, so definitely feel free to let me know down in the comments below if you happen to know. Um, but... Why does the killer get to know the name of the survivors before the trial and the survivors don't get to know the killer? Like, what information does that really give the killer? I understand, you know, if you run into a lobby with, say, four megs, that you don't want to have to differentiate meg one, meg two, meg three, meg four. However... Why do you get to get the extra little bit of information as a killer to know which one is which name if they want to go with the strategy of, let's say, going in with four identical skin? Because if you think about it, this is where you give people an advantage. You have at least a minute while you're waiting for the countdown time to go on. And if you're a killer and if you're looking to, I don't know, say stream snipe, you're probably not going to ready up right away. Especially if you're on PC and maybe have a second monitor or something, or I don't know. We basically have a PC in our pocket. I don't know if you know this, but people go and go on to like Twitch or YouTube and things like that by going on this little device in their phone. It's really, really crazy. Um, and just pull it up. And even with a couple of seconds of delay, you can still get a lot of information, especially like, let's say as a killer, when you're going against a streamer who happens to be like, let's say swiping with his community. Like, not even sweating, which is what's funny most of the time. Like, a lot of the times when people are getting stream sniped, it's not even like they're in a competition. Because, let's be honest, um, even though I definitely do a lot of shout casting for comp, there isn't much of a comp scene right now. It's not like there's an arena mode, right? There's only one mode of DBD. Um, and a lot of times they're just out here trying to spoil people's fun, which is kind of weird vibes anyways. But... I feel like Dead by uh, Daylight, you know, they found a way that they can hide the modes off of the HUD, obviously. A lot of uh, us content creators, we use that now. But I don't understand how this game has been around for five years. And I know that I'm just a very, very small fish in the pond, especially when it comes to uh, content creators and Dead by Daylight. But it is something that I've seen a lot, right? I think it's also the reason that why a lot of your bigger content creators tend to cue killer side more than survivor side. I've actually heard a couple of them mention that directly is because that way they don't have to worry about stream snipers and, you know, they can just play their own game. But it's just very strange because I feel like it's something that's a lot more evident in DVD and it's strange. Like I've done some, you know, content cre creation for some other games, you know, I was a paladins partner before and just the attitude towards like smaller streamers and content creators is kind of weird. I don't understand it. It's a very weird phenomena because I know most of these people wouldn't like go into a small like mom and pop, like, you know, local run shop and be like, oh, look, huh, you've only got four customers in here. What a loser. Huh, huh, huh. As they stroll their way out the door. 
um, but they have no problem going into small streamer streams and doing the equivalent of that online. Of course, part of that's because they get to hide behind a screen and a keyboard, and I get that, but um, it's just something that I think behavior could do to look after its content creators. And also, I think by looking after its content creators, I know some, for some reason when like people think that content creators are like looking for cloud or anything, but a lot of times they're just out here having fun with their communities, trying to make some content. It's not that serious. Most of them aren't trying that hard. Um, I think it would be good for behavior to take care of its creators in this way and add a mode. I don't know if you'd get rid. I like. I think getting rid of the names completely is is fair. Um, I understand for balance sake if maybe you just wanted to put whatever the kill like the survivor was so like claudette morel one or megan thomas one and then put like two three if there's multiple of the same survivor um and then you can show names of the end game if you want so i think that's fine but i think it adds for a healthy balance it um makes for a more pleasurable experience for your consumers of the content of your video game for Dead by Daylight. So I think they'd just really be helping themselves all the way around. But I saw the post and since we have seen it so much, like we literally even had someone come in the other day while I was streaming and admit that they stream sniped. And still, for some reason, my random teammates joined in on the teamed up with the killer to say how it was my fault because I had TTV in my name. And it was just like really weird energy and vibes, like seeing a survivor see the killer admit that they stream snipe, but then still blaming the survivor. It like it was like a really really weird thing to me. Um, and we've kind of had a couple of instances over the course of like the last like two weeks. Like it's kind of gotten a little bit more prevalent where we're seeing it. So I saw the post and I kind of want to talk about it. So I'm just gonna want to get y'all thought. What y'all's idea? Do you think like the idea of being able to add like a stream streamer like mode or? Should they just completely get rid of the names and pregame lobbies to begin with anyways, just to kind of keep people safe? Because again, like what does it allow people to do? It, it allows the killer to see how many hours the survivor has if they're on Steam, whereas the survivors don't get to see, it's like look at the killer and see how many hours they have. You know what I mean? It's I don't understand the benefit of having it there, but I'm interested to know your guys' opinion. Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and sign off real quick because I'm not sure if you guys hear that train that's coming in behind me, but... I am going to be off this weekend from streaming. I'm going to be on vacation. So uh, if you're watching this as far as over the weekend, we aren't going to be live, but we'll be back and we'll be rocking and rolling after that. We've also got Vigo's Court kicking off. I'm excited for that. If you've made it this far in the video, leave a like and a comment. Let me know down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, until we catch you over on our stream or until we catch you back here for the next video, don't forget with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere. Game hard and love harder. Oh, and hit that sub button. I don't think I did. I said that this video. Did I? I don't know. Y'all are amazing regardless. We're creeping up on that 275. Y'all have a fantastic weekend. It's your boy Q. Signing out.